This uh, truck is completely anonymous. It does not need any other systems to operate. So you can drive this truck without any assistance, any preconditions on any infrastructure whatsoever. It drives by itself, it's autonomous. It's, it's, uh, a strange feeling uh, but after a couple of kilometers uh, I'm very very comfortable I feel very safe uh, I will feel very secure and uh, I have to say it's really fun to drive the truck actually it's very simple right you push that button and you lean back and relax. That's all that it's about. Everything else has been done by the system. The system takes over and pilots you to the traffic. It's just great, it's a good feeling. We've built technology trucks. Those have conventional engines, but we pair them with very sophisticated systems that increase both the efficiency and the safety of those vehicles. Now, all of these are potentially game-changing technologies, and we'll continue to work on those. But we wanted to push ourselves and our vendor partners just a little bit further. So let me take a quick moment to introduce some of our partners on this project. We have Bill Kahn and Victor Garcia from Peterbilt Motors. We have Adam Hill with Great Dane Trailers, and we have Steve Gillette with Capstone Turbine. And so here today, for the first time publicly, 
Walmart's advanced vehicle experience. What you're seeing in the video is the powertrain, which is made up of a microturbine, a battery storage system, and an electric motor. Moving inside the cab through the sliding driver's door, you'll see the key difference that allowed for the more dramatic aero design. The driver sits in the center of the console rather than over to the left. The dash is electronic and therefore customizable to the gauges and performance data that a particular driver wants to monitor. And it's all finished off with a full-size, comfortable sleeper. Moving on to the trailer, not only is this the first time a trailer has been made out of carbon fiber, but it's actually the first time one-piece, 53-foot panels of carbon fiber have been manufactured. Looking at the front of the trailer, you can see that the nose is convex, which increases the aerodynamics of the entire package, as well as adding additional cargo space inside the trailer. My name is Bill Kahn. I'm the manager of Advanced Concepts at Peterbilt Motors and the program director on the WAVE project. We mentioned a little bit about the aerodynamics of the truck, but let me elaborate a little bit farther. You notice with the center console of the driver, we're able to taper the nose of the vehicle in more. Another key feature is that because we have an advanced powertrain, we do not need to have the radiator in front of the vehicle anymore. This relates to a 20% improvement in aerodynamics over, uh, over Walmart's existing Peterbilt fleet. If you think about it, 20% aerodynamic improvement relates directly to a 10% improvement in fuel economy. Hello, my name's Adam Hill from Great Dane Trailers, and I would like to talk to you today about this newest technology that Walmart commissioned us to build. This piece of equipment, um, over the road trailer, is made primarily of carbon fiber material. Carbon fiber is about 10 times stronger than steel, but it's lighter than fiberglass, and that is one of the biggest reasons that it was chosen uh, to highlight the technology of this equipment. This trailer has the capability of being um, fully loaded with a standard cargo load. It can handle forklift traffic uh, for backhauls, and it is 100% DOT legal. There are several um, technologies that went into this trailer besides the carbon fiber, which gives us about 4,000 pounds of weight savings when spec'd very similar to a conventional Walmart fleet trailer. Hi, I'm Steve Gillette with Capstone Turbine. Gas turbines were evaluated by Peterbilt back in the 60s. While they proved to be robust, fuel efficiency was lacking. An advantage of the capstone microturbine is that it can operate on natural gas or other fuels. This will help Walmart achieve its goal of using 100% renewable fuels in the future. The emissions is extremely low and does not require after treatment or use any diesel emissions fuels. The microturbine is spinning at high speed on air bearings, so there's no oil to change. And the turbine is air cooled eliminating the need for a large radiator, which allows for a more aerodynamic design truck like the one you see here.